Creativity is an addiction. Unplugged because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Oh man, I did it. A middle of the night slip on our very slick wooden floors. Instantly, I had this vision of, oh crap, this is what happens to old people. A- am I one of them now? As a martial artist, we're trained to fall. You know, the back fall, front fall, side falls. But it doesn't prevent the body from getting banged up and bruised. Just not as much if I hadn't gone through the training. The things we witness through others, hoping to be different. Oh, that'll never happen to me. Well, I'm beginning to think we're living the same journey. Did I have too much confidence while walking on the wooden floor? Maybe walking too fast at 4.30 in the morning. Normally, I shuffle my feet. I don't remember doing that last night, the shuffling. They were physical steps on a floor known for being slippery. Hence, the shuffling. Now the question is, do I have the confidence to release the fear of walking on this very slick wooden floor? The image keeps playing over and over, mainly because the mind wants to know who, what, where, why, when, and how. And even if it did locate a solution, what would be the initial steps to keep me from falling again? Oh no! I'm one of those people. Oh, no. (laughs) Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer, the silent wolf. My job, my goal, my ambition is to watch life, to be observant of it, to be able to listen to it, study it, and bring things forward in the way of just having a conversation. This is The Daily Mess. Hey, whatever you do, don't let this beautiful sunrise this morning fool you. As bright as it is, the temptation to run out and play with its rays will need to come with some winter gear. It's only 18 degrees. Unbothered by these cold temps are the always working squirrels and family of deer. It's always more calm on mornings such as this. I was reminded of living in the state of Montana, where it was pretty much regular to have a 40 below zero night, and it was always silent. That always caught my attention. The only thing that you could hear on that 40 below zero night in Montana were the electric power lines. That image returned to me this new sun at 18 degrees here in Carolina. How unbelievably quiet it was in this forest. And science has an answer. Colder temperatures increase density, which makes it harder for sound waves to travel. Our typical sounds every morning are still present, just unable to reach beyond its normal path. A tiny piece of positive to hold on to during these cold winter months where you go, Oh, I hate winter. But we need the winter weather for so many reasons. Just like we all go through several different seasons when it comes to thinking. Don't let it just happen. Take notes while asking questions. When your emotions are ice cold, you got to ask yourself, Am I being silent like the outdoors? How do you prevent your cold moments of now? from becoming silent. Too often we go inward and we pick up the remote control and watch TV or we go ahead and ask Alexa to play some songs that'll help us find a cool little area to hang out. The goal is not to be that way. You need to warm your mind, body, and soul with thoughts of positive action such as looking at the sunshine this morning, realizing it was 18 degrees, doing some research on where does sound go and you find that little, little niblet of positive and from that niblet will come your next step and you start looking at things that are positive we are in one of the scariest times when it comes to seasonal changes and that is because we aren't getting the sunlight that our mind body and soul need in order to find happiness so if we can find those just those little niblets of something positive Maybe your dog sitting next to you. Maybe a bird outside. Those pesky little squirrels always dancing around. But man, can they ever fly. The positive niblets. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.